And I'm excited for this set. This loser semis. Winner of this plays Jackal. This is going to be a good one. Yes, because you have to plan ahead as well, right? It's just the fact that Webb is also doing an excellent job with the Sheik. He did come against the player who is already sitting within the top part of the bracket. And now Rondor. I mean, I wouldn't say that these that these uh, um, characters are also very similar. They are very combo heavy. But the thing is, uh, Sheik is a lot better within like just those frame shots and saying like, hey, you know what? Uh, if you want to try something, you have to go against my, my ever so imponent. Uh, in frame data, of course, which is excellent. And I've been seeing here just Wanda doing exactly that, forcing Sheik into a situation which she is uncomfortable and doing everything within the arsenal available like we're seeing here not going for the correct option that down there uh, actually sold him right there in regards to uh, a punish and like we're seeing here trying to go with the jab lock but ronda doing an excellent job not quite getting it again but now we're finally going to be seeing the bouncing fish and one would think that the predators for fish are actually birds but it seems like this fish has a bit more of a kick within it okay right, that fish was bouncing for sure taking that stock all the way off the left that's, that's definitely where Sheik's going to shine. Falco a little sus off the uh, <laughs> in edge guard situations, but here we go. There we go. That back air going to seal it. You know, Rondor just being like, hey, you're not running away with this game. Not yet. Got to keep Webb on us, you know? Actually, and that's exactly what he's doing right here. And the thing is, Sheik is ever so oppressive constantly most of the time whenever you think that you are going to recover normally she just goes out and sharks you ever so much and like we're seeing here those those aerials that can be very very oppressive that hitbox that actually eats up mm, coming from falco and now we're seeing the, the bomb not quite going to be enough but the up tilt okay we see a bit of a combo okay nice extension right there coming from ronda exactly what he needed in order to tie things up a little bit but Obviously, Webb uh, taking the game within uh, his hands once again. Let's see what Rondor has to say about this. Actually taking the stock. Will it be Webb, the one to retaliate? Or will Rondor take it home? Because he does have that advantage. Oh, yeah, that, was, that was clean. That up smash. Oh, man, it killed so early. But here we go. We got Sheik off stage. Going to miss the up smash. Just still. Still covering Rondor's defensive options pretty well. But now that we've reset to neutral, Webb needs maybe a few more openings to take this stock. We saw Duke try to charge that forward smash before, but hey, no tech off that back air. But ooh, no side B either. You got hit out after. So, yeah, that's going to seal the first stock. Oh, nice edge guard. Impressive stuff right here. We're trying to go with the fair chain. Not quite the case. Falco wants off. And now we do see once again the oppressiveness coming from Sheik. Not letting him any room to breathe. 57% trying to make him go down. Mm, possibly not getting back to the ledge. But the thing is, uh, Falco's recovery is a bit on the trickier side to actually predict. But, oh, the win box not quite uh, going to uh, throw him off guard. But it could have been something terrible, terrible right there for Rondor. As Falco does struggle a little bit with the interceptions as I may be so he wasn't placed into an unoptimal position but the thing is Webb doing an excellent job keeping the bird at bay and finally with the bouncing fish closing out the stock impressive stuff coming from uh, Webb right there saying you know what you may have the kill power but I have the setups and you are going down Oh yeah, just great awareness, being like, hey, my, my bouncing fish is gonna eat your recovery up. Doesn't matter what option you choose. Web just so good. Oh, there it is, even comboing from the needles. Yeah, just sealing that first game, and looks like we're probably gonna go back to PS2. Uh, just kidding, they got all music choices. So I don't know, maybe a small battlefield, maybe. Definitely not gonna opt to go to battlefield, right? I feel like Sheep likes triplats way too much. So maybe it could be something like small battlefield maybe yeah yep. there it is small yep. battlefield is going to be the stage of choice and of course the wet now not not only the counter pick the regular counter pick but we also have the music counter pick like that's that's something that a lot of people don't know that happens right the music counter pick as we're seeing here we're see, we're keeping the characters but we're going into small battlefield what i think is one of the more neutral places to see but the thing is i think that cheek benefits a lot off of these platforms as well let's see what rondor's uh, train of thought within this stage actually defaults to i'm very very interested to see exactly 
exactly what he can do because the platforms, of course, they benefit Falco a lot as well as we do see that 67% combo. But within the situation, it's Webb who's against the ropes. Oh yeah, and that was a great job intercepting the <laughs> the Sheik bouncing fish just with Falco up tilt. Such a big hitbox charts through that platform. Yeah, definitely gonna have to see if Rondor capitalizes off that again. But here we go. We got Web. We'll drag down combos. Not done with this stock. Here we go. Falco no jump. This is a tough spot. Okay, down tilt not quite gonna two frame. Falco's back on. Right, and oh, he had the kill right there, not quite punishing it. That get up attack not being the case. And the drag down into the down smash, exactly what he needed in order to place Falco off the stage. You see, the thing is, these edge guards are doing it for him, not quite going down with the back air. Now we do see Webb struggling uh, ever so slightly to get a bit more of the momentum going, but not enough. And now we see Rondor throwing out aerials, trying to stop any preemptively, any attempt that Webb has to edge guard or maybe hit him off stage or something like that. But the Bouncing Fish saying, get off me. I have not seen Bouncing Fish ever use the get off me option, but uh, it's always a first. And speaking of first, the stock is gone from Rondor. Oh yeah, and oh, just getting the equalizer there. We got two stocks apiece. That up smash definitely, uh, you know, solid KO power. Big enough hitbox where you can use it as an anti-air and, you know, fast enough to get the job done. So good awareness from Rondor. But here we go. We got Web JP opening up this bird a little bit. Okay, but falling down with the forward air. Hey, it works. Big lasting hitbox. <laughs> Of course, and that's exactly what's being used right there to drown out uh, whatever Falco has. It's very, very difficult uh, for him to like actually challenge a hitbox that is uh, that is lingering at close quarters, right? Like we're seeing here, just holding on to everything, everything that he has within the advantage. Web doing an excellent job because he knows this could be everything that he needs in order to get back within the game and getting hit twice by the trade within the spike and within that downer. And it's actually been benefiting him once again. Rondo not taking the and could be possibly within that tournament stock. Rondor, my man, you need to fly high because if not, you're gonna crash and burn. Oh yeah, that was just great stuff by Sheik. And what a risky up B, but gonna lip. Oh, and Webb just not oh, making no. it back to ledge. Unfortunate angle there was not correctly made, but here you go, Webb. Still in advantage right now. Let's see, any edge guarders? No drag down stuff. That up tilt was so smart. Just knowing like, yeah, this will this will poke through the platform. Just such a good job sharking. That's exactly what Sheik does ever so well. Simply saying like, hey, do you think you can you can recover nicely? No Sereno and no Rage Sheik killing slightly over 100% is something that I had not seen in a while now, in a hot minute, but the thing is, Webb making it happen. And we do see here, this was the winner. Semi-finals, Jackal stepping up to the to the cutting board right here. Who will come out on top? Is it going to be Sheik, the ever so elusive ninja, or the leader of the mercenaries, Star of the Star Wolf mercenaries? I do not know how this matchup 